And welcome to Just For Clicks, guys. This is Michael Buckkosh, and this is live, raw, and uncut sports talk. Coming to you live on this Friday morning. What's well, like 6.30 on the East Coast here. It is, it's just, it's, it's going to be another beautiful day, an, a, another hot one. So make sure you guys are hydrating. I don't want anybody getting sick out there on the practice field or playing baseball or, or anything to that effect. If you are a, if you are a kid playing in a high school tournament or playing in a baseball tournament today out like outside, don't go swimming before the game. Eat a couple bananas, eat some grapes, hydrate all day. Just chill out in the AC. In the AC. Whew. With all that being said, we got to give a huge shout out to Steven Strasburg, Nationals pitcher, first pitcher since 2007 that had a three hit, five RBA, three plus hit, and a five plus RBI game. First pitcher since 2007, Steven Strasburg, uh, Washington Nationals. Congratulations, my man. But this got me thinking, guys. Uh, my mind, what, like when I woke up and saw this, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But I'm like, damn. First pitcher since 2000, that's almost 10 years ago. It's, well, it's over 10 years ago. It's almost tw- 13 years ago. Why do pitchers just suck so bad at hitting? Think, just think about it. Like major league pitchers, they you, you are almost guaranteed an out, or they're going to basically sacrifice themselves in a bunt to move the runner over. Why, when you are in little league and high school, usually the best player on the field, you're, you're like your best hitter, your your best athlete is your pitcher. You know, you see him pitching six, seven innings, you know, ten strikeouts or something, you know, and then he's hitting three for four. Same thing with his shortstop. Like, what happens between then and now? I mean, like, yes, I like, I like, I know you don't get as many reps or like, well, whatever. But in Little League, you know, you aren't playing every day like you are in the mid and mid and major leagues. Even in college, you aren't playing like every day. You're playing two times a week, three times a week tops. These these pitchers are pitching once a week. So, I mean, I mean, it's, I mean it's not like they're not like not in the game. Taking practice swings be, be, for, or be, be for the game in the batting cages or whatever. I don't know. I just, I, I guess I, I just don't fully comprehend that. But, but like then my mind really started to like wander here. Kind of in a upset, irritable type of phase. Um, I, I, I coach high school football at a fairly large school. I believe we're a five or six A. The reason why five or six A, or I think we're even a four even. And a couple sports were five A, a couple sports were six A, a couple sports were four A. Uh, the way they do it here is, you know, if you do so well, you earn so many points like every year, and 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 then you jump up to the five A level or six A level or drop down, you know, that kind of thing. Just so the competition, you know, just isn't the competition is better. But we have a lot of athletes that, that that play one sport. We have a lot of kids that just play basketball. We have a lot of kids that just play baseball. A lot of kids that just play football. I remember when I was a kid, I like I know I'm going to age myself, self, self, self here. Back in my day, rah, 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 rah. but back in my day, we 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 played all three, all four sports. When August rolled around, we put down the baseballs. We started playing fo- football. When December rolled around, we put down the football. We started shooting basketball. When March rolled around, we put down the basketball. We started playing baseball. Once baseball is over and we're in that mediocre time, you know, from July to August, we're usually just shooting basketballs. You know, just because, like, actually, we it's just it's just like the flavor of the day. Actually, once we got into middle school and high school, yeah, some of us wrestled and played basketball. I mean, obviously, once you got got into high school, like you had to choose because. Wrestling and basketball co- coexisted, but 
yes, I went to a smaller high school, but every person was expected to play two or more sports, two or three sports. It didn't matter if you like it, like if you sucked. You were there to play and have fun and enjoy yourself. Kids nowadays have. Let's take Romeo Cornell for example. From our area, just made it to the NBA. Congratulations, my man. This kid has probably been, been playing basketball nonstop since the age of seven. I bet. From the from the moment he turned seven years old, he probably had a basketball in his like in his hand, playing basketball games. He he probably has a hundred thousand miles on his legs or like already, and he's only nineteen years old. So, what I'm trying to say here is, uh, let me let me try to find find the words here properly, so we don't get all like everybody all butthurt and pissed off. Kids are used to playing sports year around. Don't get me wrong. Yes, I've been playing sports year year around since seven years old. Travel league, baseball, basketball, football, whatever. We were always doing something, but. Those sports weigh on your joints, weigh on your muscles differently. Shooting a basketball is different than throwing a baseball. Throwing a baseball is different than throwing a f- football. Yes, you're using your arms or like or or whatever, but it's the different range of motion. So it, when you switch the motion, it, it's it's less hard on your body. Romeo Kern or uh, not Romeo Kern, no. Romeo Langford has been shooting the basketball since seven years old. His arm doesn't know how to throw a baseball. His arm doesn't know how to throw a f- football. Because all you know is his basketball. There was a segment on ESPN a couple days ago where NBA executives are worried about the youth starting to come up. The class of 2014, the top 11 picks, all of them have missed more than 40 games in the NBA. Because of this very issue, because of the wear and tear on their on their on their bodies, we all have wear and tear. But this person, Romeo Langford, we'll just throw him out there, has been using the same motion in his body for twelve years. The same kid that is in the NBA now, that is a multi athlete star, he's been doing the same stuff on, on his body for 12 years, but his shooting motion takes a break for three months. His his uh, his baseball motions take a break for three or four months. So what I'm trying to get at, guys, is if you are a young athlete, high school and below, I can go, with, go as far as, say, as a junior and below. If, if, if you are 16 years old and under... You should not be a one-sport athlete. You need to test the waters. You need to play the field player. Play baseball. Play basketball. Play football. Just because you've been playing football since the age of seven and that's all you've done, it, it doesn't mean you're not any good at basketball. It doesn't... Hell, you can be a freaking Major League Baseballer and not even know it. You hear stories about this all, like, 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 like all the time. The people that last the longest in the NFL, they didn't start playing high school football till their sophomore year. They didn't play a lick of football till their sophomore year. They were basketball stars. Tony Gonzalez didn't start playing high school football till his junior year. He was a basketball player. He he went and played college basketball. Uh, forget who it was. Was it like Gonzaga? Hmm. It's regardless on this topic. So, speaking to you young athletes out there, don't be a one sports star. Yes, I know you think you'll get the competitive edge by playing basketball and AAU basketball, travel basketball, year in and year out, never taking a break. By the time you get you get to college, you're going to be mentally exhausted. You're going to be physically exhausted. If, if you don't take care of your body, you're going to be injured. 
So enjoy life as a high school student, as a elementary kid. Play as many things as you can. Play lacrosse, play soccer, play baseball, play basketball, play football, wrestle, run track. Just don't stick to one sport. It makes you a better athlete. It makes you a better person. It humbles yourself as well. Because you might be a great football player. You you could be going to a D1 college, sign that letter of intent, get getting that shirt, get getting the getting the uh, getting all the Adidas swag, the hoodies, you know, all that stuff in the mail. It, it's it's a it's a great feeling. I've been there. It is it is it's awesome. But since I was a multiple sport athlete and I wasn't very good at basketball, I sucked at basketball. I came off the bench as like the eighth, eighth, seventh or eighth guy. I was horrible. But I but I learned how to be a good teammate. I learned how to be supportive. I I I learned how to humble myself because I wasn't very good at basketball. So that next year when it came to f- football, those kids that those, those those other linebackers that were that were struggling that didn't quite understand what was going 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 on or just didn't have the ability to do it it's like hey man I I got you I've been there I've done that I know how you feel just keep working hard keep keep doing you ask me questions I will get you on the right get you on the right path get you on the right 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 page but guys that's going to be it for today this is just for clicks this is just some random thoughts for for, for for the day. This afternoon, we're going to break down the uh, Oakland Raiders 2019 football schedule. Afternoon, you know, 3.15-ish or so. We'll be live on Spreaker. If you're not following RTF Productions on Twitter, it posts every time we go live on the Spreaker channel, 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 channel. If you are busy at that point in time, it gets uploaded to the RTF Productions YouTube page. Like, comment, subscribe on that. If you're not a YouTuber, that's cool. It's on Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, all that good stuff. Be sure to comment, guys. Share us with a couple friends. Follow the podcast. Give us a ranking as well. Have a good day.